Hello, 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 everybody. Let me see. Let's see all the chats. Okay. All right. We're going to wait for a couple people to join us. Let me guess. D. I see a couple of you guys jumping on here. Don't be afraid to say hi. Ooh, a thumbs up already. I didn't even do anything. Hi, Penny. How are you? Hi, Wilda. Hi, guys. All right. So I have a couple things I want to go over with you real quick. Um, hi, Tracy. I'm going to go over the Hero Arts unboxing. I did the monthly. Hello, Anne. Everything's going great. Thank you for asking. So this is the October My Monthly Heroes kit. And this is the time of year you guys want to jump on this because I find that they um, put out some pretty neat stuff for the end of the year. Um, make sure there's nothing else in there. But I want to go over a couple things with you real quick. Real quick in my world. It's like half an hour. <laughs> All right. So they always send you a thank you card. Sometimes they'll put a code on here. I do mine um, every month, and when you do it every month, you get free shipping, and they send you an email like a week before the kit goes live um, saying, I'm sorry, the kit goes live on the first Monday of every month, and they send you an email, and if you want to add any of the add-ons, which are other coordinating stamp sets or backgrounds or ink colors or whatever you want to do there. You can throw those in with your box and they don't charge any extra shipping for that. I did not do any extra add-ons this month. So let's take a look at it. This is like a holiday scene. So you always get um, a nice piece of ribbon which coordinates. So this is like a nice dark teal color. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. It looks blue in the camera, but it's like a dark teal. The stamp set is, of course, high quality photopolymer hero art set. It's a limited edition. Once it sells out, it sells out. Now they have brought back, I think, one or two that really sold out quickly um, at the end of the year. But um, usually it's a limited edition set. So this is a very nice, large stamp set. And you have the little girl, little boy, you have some ice skaters, sledding, some little wild animals. This little raccoon has Christmas lights all wrapped around him. You have this nice size tree, pond, bench, some sentiments. Here's a dog, a cat, and a mouse, a bird, um, some decorations for the tree, a nice lamppost, let it snow, winter wishes. So you could make a nice Christmas card with this or just a winter holiday scene. So very nice. And again, um, Good quality photopolymer clear stamps. These are not the silicone stamps. And then you also get a lot of matching dies. Now, you don't get a die for every single thing, um, but it's for the majority of the images. Hello, Lizzie. Thank you for joining us tonight. And this, this kit is pretty neat because this um, has the outline as well as a separate tree die. So you can... Either you cut out the stamped image or you can cut out the tree. Hello, Chris. And um, yeah, I think these are pop out, like 3D pop outs. So you get that. And then, of course, don't forget you get this nice backer sheet, which you can use if you want to make a card. It's double sided. So it has like this bokeh print on the back or this nice snowy print on the front. So you can use that. I like to keep mine and I need to make a stop at Lowe's and get some more of those metallic. I'm sorry, not metallic, like magnetic sheets to put my dies on and get some new. I need to also place an order with my favorite things to get some new sleeves for all my stamps. So that's one part of the kit. I'll put that away in a second. The second part of the kit is this one came with some nice papers. All right. Oh, and if you guys see my nails changing, it's not your imagination. They're mood color. So I was just washing the dishes. So they were like this deep purple color. And then they turn lighter as my hands warm up. Okay. So we get some very nice metallic glitter card stock. And it doesn't rub off. Very good quality. So you get two sheets of silver. 
two of this nice blue and then two of the green. So six sheets of metallic cardstock, very pretty, glittery cardstock, I should say, not metallic. You get this nice little baggie of these little stars. And they're really pretty. They're like iridescent stars. So they have a little bit of dimension to them. These are pretty neat. I like them. So you get a little baggie of those. Plenty of those to go around. You can put them in a shaker card. You can put them on the tree. You can make a nice sky with them. So very nice. And then you get this iridesc iridescent watercolor ink. Shake well. And it looks like... You know, it looks like it looks like perfect pearls already mixed up. And who couldn't use more of that? Thank you, Lizzie. So you shake it up until you see all the pearlescent mica is shaken up. And you could put this in a spray bottle. Like if you have a Tim Holtz, what is that? The mini mister. You could probably pour it, put it in here and spray it. Or you can um, put it on your craft mat and use it with watercolors and mix it. Oh, mine's not open. Okay, so it is not open. You have to cut the tip. Let's do that. Hold on. I want to make sure I'm not destroying anything here. Huh. Weird. It is like there's some kind of cap in there. Maybe I just have to squeeze it hard. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to squeeze this and this is going to fly all over the desk. Okay, sounds like there's air going in there now. Nope. I don't know. I'm just going to take the lid off and stick a paintbrush in there so you can see what it is. I'll mess with it later. So it is just, it's exactly like Perfect Pearls mixed in water. Very shimmery, very pretty. A lot of us already have some of this similar to like Wink Estella. Okay, so here you can see squirt it all over the lid there. So there you can see it on black paper. Very shimmery, very pretty. Here it is on white paper. It does have a silver undertone to it. It's not gold based. It's definitely silver based. All right. So very cool. Very pretty. It is now all over my hands. All right. Anyway, moving on. So that is the Hero Arts kit. And again, you can, if it's still available, I honestly didn't check. You can go online and order it from Hero Arts. The kit is normally... $34.99. And then I think if you're not um, a subscription member, you pay shipping on that. But if you order $50 or more, it's um, free shipping from Hero Arts. Okay, Lizzie asks, do you have a favorite cardstock? I'm asking because I've been using color block cardstock and it seems to stress easily at the score line. Um, Lizzie, I, I gotta say yes and no. I really don't have a particular brand that I'm loyal to. I like all kinds of different card stocks. Um, what I try to do as a bargain shopper is buy big packs of um, color packs, for instance, from Stampin' Up! because I know their paper is a really good quality and I've been using it for years. But I do have like Anna Griffith paper. I have Crafter's Companion paper. So it just depends on what my end goal is with that paper. I have cheaper paper. Um, if you're just going to be like die cutting, I normally use a cheaper paper that you can buy at your big box stores. If I'm going to be making card bases, I do use a heavier quality paper um, that's usually 80 or 100 pound weight so that it doesn't give me those problems when it's creasing. So you just have to look. Um, die cuts with a view makes very good paper. 
Um, basil makes very good paper. So those are all quality papers. You might spend a little more, but that thicker quality holds up a little longer than just going in and buying a couple sheets. A lot of big box stores, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you can go in and actually feel the quality of the paper before you purchase it. Um, some other things, my Brutus Monroe embossing color of the month came and now they've included this little card and it's a swatch card. So let's swatch that out real quick. This is called Golden Gourd. Um, you guys have heard me rave about this embossing powder of the month club. Again, it's $8. That includes shipping. Um, and every month it's a surprise color. Now, Christopher does announce on his website, on um, Brutus Monroe's website, a couple days before it's shipped out what the color is. And you get it to see it. But I like getting that surprise. And you get a big pot of it. So now they've included this little swatch card. I'm just going to swatch this out here. Let's see what this looks like. And it's a great way to build up your stash if you're if you want to get into embossing powders. It's a good quality. So let's get the heat gun and heat this up. You guys, this is what I've been looking for. It's a pearlized golden. It's exactly what it says, golden gourd. And you know what I needed this for? Remember a couple months ago when Hero Arts came out with that beach kit I never got until my lovely, lovely friend Dory sent it to me? This is the color embossing powder I needed to mix with the brown embossing, embossing powder to make a beautiful sand embossing powder. So... If you, if you are looking to make your own sand, this is the color. But it is a pearlized, light, golden, metallic color. It is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can pick up the sparkle. There we go. Look how smooth that melts. This is gorgeous. I like this little swatch card. What a great idea. So this is called Gold, Golden Gourd this month. If you join the Brutus Monroe Embossing Powder of the Month Club, again, $8 includes shipping. At the beginning of the month, they ship it out to you, and it's a new color every month. But I really like this. It's very pretty. Very nice. So that's that. Um, Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. I made a couple cards for them. You'll be seeing more from me for them. So... And you guys, there's videos for two of these. So this one we did the video on not too long ago. This is the Silhouette Stag card. Very easy to make. This one I didn't show a video on, but I did post the card all over social media. Um, and this one is the, for those who served Silhouette and also the sentiment is the hero set. It's here. Um, but it reminded me a lot of my dad and I... I couldn't help but make this card. And all I did here was this is just Copic markers. And I was kind of practicing my moon. And then I heat embossed the image. So to me, it almost looks like an evening, you know, image there. So I like this one. And then the one I just posted the other day, you guys have seen this one before. Um, this is their park bench and I just posted a video on this and I just did some simple watercolor with markers and then my favorite thing sentiment I cut out and put on there. Penny is saying swatch out the embossing powder on black. Okay, Penny, let's do that. This is the fun of, of live. Okay. So here's a piece of scrap black I have. Lizzie, no problem. Any questions you have, I am here to share the knowledge. The more paper crafters and stampers there are, the longer this hobby goes, the happier we all are. All right, so let's see here. Now, I will tell you, I did not get full coverage with the ink there, so we'll see how this looks. Put the excess back in the jar. And we're going to heat it up.
All right. It looks like a beautiful pale gold. It is so pretty. It's it's very pearlescent. That's the best way to describe it. So here you can see it on the white and the black, and it almost looks like two different colors. It's very opaque. This is beautiful, not just for fall cards, for Christmas cards. It's a very pearlescent gold. I love it. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Penny. Great idea swatching it on black. Yes, I like that. Um, I will probably be making a card, a winter scene card with this one from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. And I picked up these cars this year. So I think I'll put those on the road there and see how that looks. So keep an eye out for that. Speaking of keeping an eye out, have you guys seen these brushes all over the internet? I don't know who makes them. I'm really not interested in ordering them. And I'll tell you why. Because I have the Tim Holtz Mini Distress Tools. I have these guys, which I bought because everybody said I had to have them. Honestly, they don't ever come out of the drawer. And I spent like, I don't know, 30 bucks on these brushes. So I was not about to go out and buy another whole set of brushes because I use my distress tools. I don't ever use these brushes. Um, so took my daughter into Five Below the other day and saw this and was like, isn't that the brushes that everybody's posting online now? So here it is, guys. $5 at Five Below. It's called a Face One Cosmetics Powder Brush. Just thought I'd tell you guys. Let's see here. Oh, it's really soft. It does feel nice. Let me find a scrap piece of paper. Where'd that paper go? I was just messing with. Here it is. Let's get an ink pad. Let's see what the big deal is about these brushes. It is really soft. The handle's flexible. All right, I see. Nice coverage. I think there's probably a little more control, softer coverage than using a Distress Ink blending tool. Not bad. It does give a little bit lighter coverage. All right, I might use this. But I don't see a reason to go out and buy a whole set of them and spend big dollars when you can find these cheapy ones at the store. Thanks, Chris. So, five below, guys. There you go. Now I have glitter all over it from the iridescent spray. All right, so I wanted to tell you guys that. What else do I have in my arsenal here? Oh, um, Mod Squad Challenge. In case you guys have not gone over there. Next week, $49.99 a set, Wilda? $49.99 a set she's seen for these brushes. And it seems to be exactly, yeah, I got this for $5. $5 at the Five Below store. And it is a very nice quality, very soft brush. I can see why it's used for makeup. But I'm not one of those makeup guru people. But it gives a nice soft coverage of your ink. And I'm just using regular cardstock here. I, I imagine if you're using like Bristol or a better quality cardstock, it probably does come up with nice. And then you, I imagine you could just run this under some soap and water and clean it out. So if you buy one for each color family, reds, pinks, yellows, blues, darker colors, the only thing I would ever use it for is the sky. So that's why I said. I don't, I don't think I need it, but if you guys were looking into it, there you go. Okay. Mod Squad Challenge blog. I would encourage all of you to go check it out. Next week, my post will go live. I cannot show you my card, but I will give you a hint. This is the stamp set I used. It is called the Multi-Step Pumpkins. Okay. So, next week's challenge, if you decide to join, and it is completely free to join, it is of every technique levels, whether you are a beginner or whether you are experienced at stamping, I would encourage all of you to go on there and submit 
the the card challenge for next week. Um, you'll see my card on there, and then it runs for a week, and I randomly pick a winner, and you can win twenty five dollars of kitchen sink stamps. So please go check it out, Mod Squad Challenge blog. They have Gina K stamps, they have kitchen sink stamps, they have a number of different. Um, sponsors and every week they do a different challenge and i think it's a great way for you to get ideas from other stampers um maybe on stamp sets you already own but it's a good chance that you can pick up free 25 dollars, and who doesn't want that and it's a random it's a random drawing so you don't even have to have the best card you can just it's just random just enter it just follow the rules and enter it so please join that the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about is if you have Facebook, there's a new Facebook group called Stamp Camp. Okay, I just joined this group and I love it. There's there's only a few hundred of us on there, but it's a really nice group. You can um, post anything. There's there's basically no rules. There are some stamp companies out there, some stamping groups, which are specific only to their products. And I know you have to watch what you say, what you post. So I like this group. There's, there's a, a nice variety of members in that group. So check it out. If you're not a member stamp camp, it's called. So that, all right, I'm getting down to the wire here. Um, I know you guys saw, I posted some of the new stamping up stuff the hollow stuff. Well, I missed, I totally missed this stamp set and these framelits. So I had to order them. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I'll be happy to help you guys out. I'll put my link down there, but I picked up, you guys saw this Halloween fun paper. So you have this little witchy witch. And then on the back side, it has these little cats, some cool gray and purple ghosts some stripes, some pumpkins, some little brooms. This would be great if you're, if you have somebody that's into Harry Potter, um, some little cauldrons and a little cat. And these are like some border pieces with some little spiders and some green polka dot on the back of that. Some more witches hats, some little frogs, and then we have the bats and some stars on the back of that. Well, I got the stamp set and the matching dies because the stamp set will actually cut out these images off of the pattern paper. So, for example, the little cauldron, these dies will actually cut out the little cauldron little cat little cat there's one on here for the frog there's the little witch the broom here's some stars the little ghost so these match not only the stamp set but also the pattern paper so if you're looking a quick way to make halloween cards this is a great set and then here's the stamp set it is a red rubber cling stamp set and these dies obviously match the stamp set, but how neat is it if you didn't want to stamp and color? Because honestly, guys, I don't really do that much coloring. I like to make cards quick and easy. So here's the, the witch's hats. I can just buy the paper and buy the dies and cut out all the hats that I want with that die. And it's already colored. And then just put it on my card. So I wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was pretty neat. Speaking of Halloween, you guys saw the big pile of Halloween cards that I've been making. Well, I only have two kids. So, what am I going to do with all these Halloween cards? I'm not going to take them to work and give them to my guys at work. Because they'll expect candy, not the cards. So, I want to send you guys cards. So, let me show you what I got here. So I have these cards. I'll probably make a couple more. Obviously, there's not a whole bunch here. Um, but I want to send you guys cards. So if you would like a Halloween card from me, send me an email to nancystamps15. Let me write that down for you. nancystamps15, wherever. I did have it on a piece of paper here on my desk, and it ran away. I 
Nancy Stamps, the number 15 at Gmail. That's my email, guys. If you send me your mailing address within the U.S., I'm sorry, I, I cannot send it internationally. <clears throat> um, actually, you know what? I can send it internationally because these are not very heavy or bulky cards. So, yes, I do have a couple international stamps. So, yes, I will open this to international. Now, I only have a handful. So, the first ones that get to me and send me your mailing address, I will send you one of these Halloween cards. So, Nancy Stamps, the number 15 at gmail.com. I will send you guys one of these lovely Halloween cards. I will probably make a couple more so you never know what you're going to get. Just because you guys are awesome. And I love that you guys are supporting me and this hobby. Um, with our creativity. So on that note, speaking of support, this is the last thing I'm going to go over with you guys today. Remember my friend Kim and her super awesome husband, Rick, who made me my bow tying machine. So I have three here. I asked Rick, if he would be willing to make some more, if there was a demand for them and we could sell them. Um, and I believe he said, just depending on how many orders would come in, um, if you would want to order one, and I'll show you guys how these work. I think he said they would be $15 and I will have to check on shipping for you guys. Um, but Rick makes every single one of these handmade. Um, it's his own design with the number of holes here and how far the holes are. Plus he stores the little dowels on the end here so you don't lose them. Um, and I will have to, um, I just want to take a poll at how many of you would actually be interested in purchasing these. And again, you can email me nancystamps15 at gmail.com and I will get more information on how much it would be. So send me your address. And like I said, it would be $15 plus shipping. So I would need to figure out how much it's going to be to ship them to your address. So if you say, yes, I'm interested in one, I will figure out what it is to ship you one. And then I can see if Rick will make them for you um, and ship them out. Again, just depends on how many people are interested to get that. So how these work is so simple. You put your little dowels in the holes here. And then you take your ribbon and you basically wrap your ribbon around. You tie it under like you're tying a knot. So you go under, you go over top, and you tie your knot. That's it. And you will have the most perfect bow. Once you tie your knot, then you just pull your dowels out. And you have your bow. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm trying not to tighten this because once you tighten it, that's it. There's your bow. So it's a perfect little bow. Um, let me untie it now. And I'm going to show you. You can do a couple different sizes. But it makes it so easy. I'm terrible at tying bows. So this makes it so easy. So let's say I spread my dowels out a little further here. And I want a bigger bow. When You want to use a little bit thicker ribbon. Same thing. You just go around. You take the short end. Go underneath both pieces, come over the top, and in the center, you just tie your knot. That's it. And then you would pull your dowels out, and then you have your bow. So if you were using thicker ribbon, you would probably want to do a bigger bow. And if you're using smaller, thinner ribbon like this, it makes really cute, dainty little bows. And then I just use some little glue dots and glue it on. And then to store it, you just put your little dowels in the end there. It's very lightweight. And if you wanted to paint it, decorate it, you could do that. Um, the, the dowels are really tight when you first get it. Um, he didn't want them loose and falling over. Mine have loosened up since I've been using it. So you can see my holes are a little bigger. Um, but... They don't fall out. So it will be a little tight when you first get it. And all you need to do is just keep using it. And then it will loosen up for you as they get used. So I do have three available. But again, if you are interested in placing an order, send me an email. I'll figure out how much it is to ship you one. NancyStamps15 at gmail.com. And you can get you a little bow maker from my friend Kim and her husband, Rick. 
Um, or if you have somebody that can make one for you, go for it. I mean, it's, it's a great tool and I use mine's right in front of my desk here. Very easy to make little bows with that. So I think I went over everything I needed to go over with you guys. Um, how about you guys? Any questions? Anything else you guys want to go over? The biggest thing you guys have been commenting on is this little brush. Little makeup brush that everybody's using. I can see the appeal of it because if you're doing like a soft background, um, the Tim Holtz Distress Tools can be a little heavy on the ink. These guys here. Um, so this is nice because you can do a little bit lighter hand. But again, use what you have. If you already have these guys, I don't think you need to go buy these guys. But it's your money. Do what you want with it. If you want one for every color. I like having four or five because I try to do one of every color family. So here's red. Here's yellow. Here's green. This one's like a purple blue color. And look at, you should you know probably have an idea of what kind of cards you make. I do a lot of... Um, beachy cards or galaxy cards or nighttime cards so most of the colors i use are blue greens and blue or blue greens and purples um my sunset cards but i use the distress tools for that so this is just another option of getting that ink down i know that these are quite pricey so i will not be investing in them because frankly i already have a tool that i think would work so that's up to you guys. It's like you don't have to have every single manufacturer's ink colors. You don't have to have every single manufacturer's alcohol markers and color pencils. Use what you have. There's probably something in your arsenal that will work just fine without you having to go out and spend more money. Anything, guys? Why are you guys being so quiet tonight? Okay. Well, that's all I have. I will be making a card this week with, like I said, this new. Well, it's not new. It's old. Last year, Leah and I made a beautiful card with this. Um, so I'm going to make this a snowy scene. And we're going to stamp these little cars on here. So I'll be doing that video. If you guys don't have any questions, I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Keep on stamping. If you want a Halloween card, email me. Bye, guys. Have a good night.